CM Punk comes out. Tony Schiavone in the ring. He starts in with the what's in the bag. He takes a shot, talking about people not being on TV. He's there every week. I don't know if that was a shot at the Bucks and Kenny. I, I could have been. I don't know. So he says, on the 32nd anniversary of Bobby Heenan showing up on WWF Superstars, I believe it was Superstars, with the World's Heavyweight Championship, the one that's behind me right here with the Bret Hart shades, shows up with the belt, and he mentions the real World's Champion. What a, that, that thing is stuck with wrestling fans forever. He reveals his world title and calls himself the real world's champion. He grabs black spray paint in the most Hogan-esque NWO fashion. Spray paints a big X on that title. You know, I've been talking about this and people are telling me I'm nuts. This guy did the leg drop. He's doing the, 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 the ear to the, the, the hand to the ear, the ear to the hand. He's doing this. For people listening, I'm sorry. You can't see me do the worst Hogan hand to the ear. He's doing this, the hand thing. I'm like, okay, he's doing, he's slowly <laughs> embracing <laughs> jerk Hogan. And we get it. He spray painted it. He spray painted the belt. He's a real world champion. Ricky Starks comes out. Sets up a match for the title next week. There was a shot as, uh, you know, um, Punk wanted to bring his own referee. Ricky says, I don't care where you have to go. You could go down the block to Stanford because they were in Connecticut. Got a big ooh from the crowd. They announced Ricky the Dragon Steamboat will be the special guest referee. And how this man calls it right down the middle. You know what? Fonzie could have done well, right? He's, he's an honorable referee. He always calls it right down the middle. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on this, MG. Yes, sir. Ricky, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, special guest referee, next week for the real world's championship between CM Punk and Ricky Starks. Well, the story here, um, he did this in ROH, I do believe. Uh, that's because they referred to it. Um, yeah, well, well yeah, Ricky, Ricky was before. the special guest referee. Yeah. yeah. So there's, that's a callback to that. That's one. Two, um, supposedly he's an honorable ref. He won't, he won't uh, call, it, he'll, he'll call it right. So that's what they're going with. So somehow that'll play into the story, I'm sure, of the match. Yeah. Uh, Very exciting. I mean, this is fun. This yeah. is a lot of fun. I don't know where they're going with this because the only real place they could go is a ladder match for the, for the titles. Him and MJF. And you could do a great double turn here. Slowly building to that, aren't they? I, I, you know, we'll talk about that main event. A lot of criticism about the main event. I may go into the second segment here with this because uh, we're starting to see the pieces fall in. Also, I thought it was really funny. Everybody's criticizing, you know, where's the card for this all in? It's a month away. We don't know where it's airing, even though I, I, I reported that it's on BR. There's no official statement. Johan Promotions has it on their website as a pay-per-view for businesses to order. So I'm imagining you're going to be able to do closed circuit once again. And you're going to have this in business pay-per-view. So you're also going to have regular pay-per-view distribution if it's on Johan Promotions because Johan works with the cable providers. You know, I don't think people, uh, I, I, this is a very inside baseball for cable, but Johan Promotions and I think it's GCC or GGC. GG, GGCC events are the pay-per-view providers for businesses. And they go through your actual carrier. So if you have Spectrum in your establishment, you don't call Spectrum to order the pay-per-view. You call Johan, and they, they do it for you because the pricing is all whack. Like uh, last night's boxing fight was like a $3,000 uh, pay-per-view for a venue that has up to 300 people. You know, top, like 300 max. So, you know, they're not cheap, these things. Uh, but AEW being on there, that, that tells me that they're going to be on traditional pay-per-view. Also, I could be wrong. It's just me taking a very uh, easy guess here. But they're going to build that card up. Is that the match at all in? Is that the match at all out? I, I Very interesting stuff. 